working with tissue engineering and I, I really like the relationship, especially the French-English uh, relationship between the word tissue and tissage. So I was looking at how our bodies and our body tissue also creates a mesh. So what I did was seed live cells onto little miniature textiles that I wove by hand and observe the cell behavior on these fibers and it was fascinating to me to see how they performed on these fibers. We're in the makerspace lab um, and here we have a, a wet lab uh, that allows people to work with uh, cell culture and different types of living materials um, and so when you have artists come in or people who are scholars in the humanities come in and work with these types of materials um, and scientific techniques, you get a whole different reading into not only the material but also the social and ethical context of the scientific practice. Often people have to sort of trust and believe that what I'm saying is in there is actually in there. So this is, this is a fun part of showing this work in a gallery. We'll, Will people believe it? And if they, if they do believe it, if they believe it's true that there's living material in there, what, what will they think about that being shown in a gallery? What is really interesting for me about her work is that uh, always artists since a long time in history have been working with sciences, with new tools of sciences to see what we could cannot see with the eyes. Usually when you talk about bio art, it's mostly artists engaging with biology or hiring biologists to do their, their stuff and she knows about what she's doing and so besides art she's also going to probably publish a scientific paper out of it and for me this is the, the true connection between art and science the same project being able to have like an output in art galleries as well as in science journals. This merging, um, it, it gives opportunity for uh, new discoveries, new ways of thinking about things, uh, new ways of analyzing things. I think all art uses the tools of science, it's just that they're perhaps last generation's tools or by the point that artists are using them, they're no longer considered science, they're considered sort of regular accessible tools. So I think this lab and what we're doing here, it's really a part of that move to acclimate artists to using the tools of science. I really love working with scientists. The scientists that I've had the opportunity to work with are amazing people and I've discovered that scientists and artists have a lot in common actually. Um, scientists typically have to think abstractly as well and uh, in fact they've been part of the push to promote bioart in Canada. For me it's, it's really really exciting to go from a uh, strictly artistic craft-based practice into now being recognized for a scientific achievement and having sort of done that through the back door.